Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus Not so many Africans have risen to head major global organizations. Ethiopia's Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who heads the World Health Organization, WHO, as its Director General, is one of the very few. Tedros was born on the 3rd of March 1965 in the city of Asmara, which then was part of Ethiopia but now is in Eritrea. Childhood is not called formative years for nothing as the experiences we have in that stage go a long way to determine the kind of persons we become. For Tedros, his traumatic experience in his childhood inspired him to pursue a career in a medically related field as he lost his younger brother who was only three or four years old to measles, an easily preventable disease. He also saw the suffering and death malaria caused back then. That experience was a defining moment for him which opened his eyes to the need for a global health care. In 1986, Tedros got his first degree in biology from the University of Asmara. In 1992, he got his master's degree in immunology of infectious diseases from London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine at the University of London. As if those were not enough, he went on to bag a PhD in community health from the University of Nottingham in the year 2000. His PhD research was on investigating the effects of dams on the transmission of malaria in the Tigray region of Ethiopia. Fresh out of college in 1986, Tedros got employed in the Ministry of Health in Ethiopia as a junior public health expert. Fifteen years later in 2001, he was appointed head of the Tigray Regional Health Bureau. Then two years later, he was made Deputy Minister for Health. The health sector of Ethiopia was faced with serious challenges of inadequate number of skilled doctors and decaying infrastructure. Tedros was called upon to help lead a change and so in 2005, he was appointed Minister for Health. During his tenure, significant progress was seen, which was even published in an international health journal. As minister, within few years, Tedros was able to attract foreign donations amounting to 1.9 billion US dollars. He revamped the health workforce and developed a system that led to the training and deployment of thousands of doctors, nurses, laboratory technologists, pharmacists, and health officers. This program also included the building of 4,000 health centers and training of over 30,000 health extension workers. When a health survey was done in 2011, it showed that the effect of these initiatives led to a drop in Ethiopian infant mortality from 123 deaths per 1,000 live births in 2006 to 88 in the year 2011. There is a saying that, your network determines your net worth. As Minister of Health, Tedros was able to build a formidable network that included prominent people like former American President Bill Clinton and Bill and Melinda Gates. Through the charities these people run, Ethiopia was able to access huge resources for public health projects. During his tenure as Minister of Health of Ethiopia, Tedros did not just focus on Ethiopia's health sector alone, he was also involved in global health initiatives. From 2007 to 2009, he was chair of the Rollback Malaria Partnership. He was in the program coordinating board of the Joint United Nations Program on HIV AIDS, that is UNAIDS, from 2009 to 2010. He was also part of many academic and global health think tanks including the Harvard School of Public Health and the Aspen Institute. In July 2009, the board of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS 
tuberculosis and malaria, elected Tedros as its chair. A report carried by The Lancet cited his leadership as Ethiopia's Minister for Health as a major reason Ethiopia became an exemplary, high-performing country in health. Also, from 2012 to 2016, Tedros was Ethiopia's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Maybe Tedros started feeling like a big fish in a small pond and saw the need to pursue a bigger challenge, for in 2016, he announced his ambition to occupy the biggest office as far as World Health is concerned, Director General of the World Health Organization. He was the only African candidate. This was a great ambition for a number of reasons, one of which was that Tedros was not a medical doctor and no non-medical doctor had ever occupied that position. But he did have a prolific credential nationally and globally and had the support of Africa and Asia, particularly China. He emerged as a frontline candidate among the six shortlisted by the WHO after two rounds of secret voting. His major rival was the British doctor, David Nabarro, who had the support of the UK, US and Canada. When the final votes were cast, Tedros got an overwhelming victory, securing 133 votes out of 185 and was elected as Director General of the World Health Organization by the World Health Assembly on the 23rd of May, 2017. This was historic as he became the first Director General who is not a medical doctor and the first African to lead the WHO. He is to serve a five-year term, which began on the 1st of July, 2017. As Director General of the WHO, Tedros leads the global effort in the fight against the coronavirus. The life of Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus is one that shows what can be achieved when you are positively driven by your experiences and unafraid to take up great challenges. He is happily married with five children. What have we missed out of this biography of Tedros? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.